my name is Fred Williams and this is my recipe for two-way pork. The reason I came up with this recipe is because I wanted to do a pork dish but I was hungry at the time and I wanted to eat some of it right away. So I came up with doing pork two ways. So one of the ways we're going to do it is going to be a barbecue pork which we're going to shave some of the pork from the sides uh, to make a sandwich for us. And so we're just going to cut a couple pieces off to use as a sandwich. Then we're also going to do pork, a garlic, um, ginger pork, which we're going to braise first, and then we're going to put that in the oven. So let me cut just one more piece off. And those are the pieces that are going to be for our sandwich. Then we're going to take our ginger, going to peel that off, and we're going to chop it up along with our garlic. This recipe requires that we have three to four cloves of garlic, uh, about a cup of uh, teriyaki sauce, a uh, little barbecue sauce, about a third of a cup, a couple tablespoons of cayenne pepper uh, as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to chop the garlic up and we're going to poke holes in the pork and put it, uh, braise it first and then we're going to put it in the oven. So just going to Chop that up. It doesn't have to be a fine chop, but we'll chop the ginger up pretty good. And that's going to go in the pork. I love the smell of ginger because it's so fragrant. And it adds a nice, very nice, um, what's the word I want to use? Uh, nice gives the, the pork a nice flavor. Kind of changes it up a little bit. So we got the ginger all chopped, then we're going to chop our three or four cloves of garlic, just going to mash them out a little bit, crush them a little bit. Love garlic too. Garlic is one of those things that's really good for you. So be careful with the knife, they're sharp. You don't want to uh, cut yourself. So we're just going to chop that garlic along with that ginger and it can be mixed in, that's not a big deal. And while we're preparing our pork, we're going to just take those pieces of pork that we shaved off for our sandwich and we're just going to cook them, put them on a plate and we're just going to go and mix that in a little bit. See how good that looks? And we're going to take that and we're just going to put that in a hot pan and we have a couple tablespoons of olive oil. So that's only going to take three to four minutes for us to cook that. And this is going to be our sandwich that we're going to eat. Spread that out a little bit. Our sandwich that we're going to eat while the pork is marinated. So we're just going to put that, get rid of that. Clean our hands a little bit. It's always good to have clean hands. And we're going to also season that pork with a little salt and pepper as well. So now we're ready to finish preparing our whole pork. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to take the tip of our knife and we're just going to make holes. And we're going to put the garlic and the ginger down in the hole that we make. Make that one a little deeper. Be careful because this knife is sharp. You don't want to cut yourself. And that's going to really give that pork some flavor for you. And it's going to be one of those recipes that you're really going to like. And while this pork is cooking, you won't be hungry because you'll have another piece already. How about that? So we're just going to do that all throughout the pork. And this garlic, having the garlic and the ginger will not hurt you at all. As a matter of fact, the garlic keeps the heart pumping. Put some holes in throughout the pork roast on both sides. And you can get pork roast pretty much on sale at many 
stores in your area. So now that is done. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to season with a little salt and pepper. Both sides. Take a little of cayenne pepper. I like things kind of spicy. So a little salt. And turn that over. A little salt on that side. A little pepper on that side. A little cayenne pepper on that side. Then we're just going to take a freezer bag and we're going to slide the pork in like so. And then we're going to take our teriyaki and we're just going to pour that in over the top. And we're going to take that bag, squeeze all the air out, and we're just going to seal it. And you're going to put that in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes to let that marinate. Okay, continuing with our two-way pork, so we just got to add a little bit of the barbecue sauce. Put that in. That's on the pieces that we sliced earlier that we just kind of cooking because we're hungry now, of course. You know, and sometimes when you're cooking, you're hungry right away and you don't want to wait. Uh, for the entire meal to be done, especially if it's a if it's a guy cooking, we get hungry, you know, and we have to eat. So once you get that all mixed in pretty well, set that excess barbecue sauce aside. That kind of cooks in a little bit, you know, and that looks all good. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to take our pork and we just make a great sandwich out of it. And we're just going to take a little bit of that garlic and that ginger and put that on. Now you can have that open face or you can have that uh, as a closed sandwich. So get your knife and fork ready baby because it is on. And that's one portion of two-way pork. That is the barbecue pork. And we just accompanied that. We had a little vegetables, uh, some broccoli, and some carrots. Now that's a lunch that you will enjoy. Uh, Two-way pork. This is the second part of the recipe where we've had the teriyaki pork uh, marinating for about 20 minutes. And so what we did, what we're doing now, is we're just putting that in the hot pan with the olive oil. Two-way pork in the oven to finish it off. So we've got it nice and brown or braised. In the olive oil, we got a little bit of the garlic in the pan that just kind of popped out, a little bit of the uh, ginger as well. So we're going to just put it in our pan, we're going to turn that off, and we're just going to take and pour just a little bit of water, just a few ounces. Man, you know, you can put as much as a half a cup. We're going to cover that, and then we're going to take that pork and we're going to place it in a 400 degree oven. And let it cook for about 50 minutes. And we're going to pull that out and we'll be ready to plate it up and serve it. Okay, now it's time to plate up our two way pork. So we've allowed our pork uh, roast to rest about 20 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull it out of our dish and we're going to place it on a bed of spinach. Um, you can also serve this with rice or pasta. And it's also a good idea to uh, have applesauce or apples with that pork that will help you digest it. So this is our two-way pork, this is the garlic and also ginger pork and we've already finished off that barbecue pork which was the other portion of our two-way pork. That's gone, that's sitting right here. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy some pork today with a friend. That's the purpose of doing two-way pork. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it.